Max, as a resume writer yourself, I'm sure you have seen so many resumes, some good, some bad. So what, what tips, what's the trend in 2022? Is it one page, two page? Uh, uh, we discussed in previous video that you need, they should include uh, recommend, I mean, uh, accomplishments in their jobs or and how they can also, you know, pass the applicant tracking system where sometimes they're looking for those small keywords. Yeah, so in terms of trends, uh, I tend to stick to more of a basic design. Uh, one of the common mistakes professionals make is they try to spruce up the resume with these creative resumes, as you see mm -hmm. on Canva, but it's very distracting to the recruiter. Mm -hmm. The recruiter wants to know if you can do the job, and the only way you can describe that on a resume is the words on the page, not necessarily the design. So I would try to keep it uh, simplistic. Yeah. Obviously, there's exceptions to the rule. If you're in a creative uh, field, such as graphic design, then... Mm -hmm. Yes, you could um, make it a bit more creative, but if it's a financial position, uh, then I would recommend doing a standard uh, minimalistic uh, mm -hmm. framework for your resume. Uh, so that's what I would stick with. In terms of uh, one or two pages, again, it always depends on how much experience you have. If you have less than 10 years, uh, you could probably put it to a page. Uh, if, it's, if you have 10 or more, let's say 15, mm -hmm. then two pages is fine. Uh, Unfortunately, I have seen recent grads or uh, professionals that have only had a couple of years of experience and they have two pages. I think that's way too long. Uh, cool. So try to keep it a page if you can. Obviously, if you're more of a seasoned professional, two pages is okay. Uh, bullet point wise, obviously your most recent, your current or most recent role should have the most bullet points and then you would have less bullet points for the older roles okay. because the main thing the recruiter wants to see is your current job or your most recent job and see what you've done. Mm -hmm. They're mainly evaluating you on that. The rest of the roles are more of a background, uh, provide context, but the main focus is your uh, last role on your resume. Uh, so that's the one thing I want to emphasize. Uh, again, uh, in terms of accomplishments, I uh, definitely make the bullet points accomplishment focus, not responsibility. Uh, talk about like, uh, you use action verbs such as yes. achieved, increased, generated, reduced, mm -hmm. those types of words, uh, and then add some metrics on top of it. That will make a strong bullet point. Uh, and then in terms of executive summary, I, I know there's a uh, debate whether it's necessary or not. I okay. always, it doesn't hurt to have a few lines on top uh, before mm -hmm. you go to your work experience. Uh, so I would recommend you do that. Uh, and then after work experience is done, then you have your education. And then there's a skill section at the bottom, if you like. Uh, don't overdo it. I think one or two lines of technical skills and software mm -hmm. skills is fine. Uh, and then that sh should cover it, right? So yeah. My, the way I write resumes is the content information at the top. You have your professional summary. I like to call it an executive summary. And then you do your work experience. If you've been out of school for at least a year or two, mm -hmm. uh, then you have your uh, education uh, and then the skill section. So about, yeah, so it'd be four to five sections would be the yeah. standard resume, in my opinion. What about if people don't have any accomplishment or maybe they are doing survival jobs new in Canada and they want to apply to other roles, what they can do? Yeah, so those are what we call bridge jobs. And yeah. I know some professionals want to not put them in because they're not relevant. Mm -hmm. But I would emphasize, I think it's important to put them in because it shows that you're actually working. Yeah. It's better to be working somewhere than not working anywhere at all. So yeah. even if you, so I actually had a client a couple of years ago and he was trying to get into the supply chain industry. He just mm -hmm. graduated from Seneca. He was a new immigrant and his job was working at a gas station. Uh, but we were able to dive deep into experience and try to make it more supply chain focused. Yeah. If you don't have metrics, it's fine. Uh, you can say increased or reduced, it's still impactful. It might not be as impactful as adding metrics, but again, that, not everything can be a metric driven. Yeah. So just try to tell a story with your bullet points and you should be okay. Yeah, those are great tips. Thank you, Max. And again, for the audience watching, also, if you have any other tips in terms of resume writing, please leave them below and tune in next time for another great question with Max.